Hey, Legrand Alive, it's Will Bowman. This is Coffee with Will and Donna Beverage, brought to you by Valley Realty, Marketplace Family Foods, Grand Ron Hospital, uh, Seabright Dentistry, and Northwest Furniture and Mattress. And um, like I said, I'm here with Donna Beverage, who is a local farmer, first and foremost, I would say, mm -hmm. and then also a uh, candidate for the county commissioner's position that is going to be coming up for voting here pretty soon. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having Donna. me. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me how, you, how long you've been in the Valley. I understand you are a lifelong resident of the yep. Union Valley uh, or of the Grand Ronde Valley. And uh, yep. just tell me a little bit about your experience with uh, the Grand Ronde. Okay. Um, well, uh, born here. Uh, my great grandpa came over on the Oregon Trail, traded, oh, wow. traded a team of horses for a ranch here in Union County. So Very cool. um, my husband and I raised cattle and hay and uh, uh, our kids helped as they were growing up, but now it's just the two of us. Um, we're just- No more slaves. No more slaves. <laughs> no, but they, but they definitely all learned how to work. They're all Fair hard enough. workers yeah. and have good jobs. So we're proud of all of them. Um, so yeah, we raise cattle and we sell hay and um, I do just a lot of volunteer right now. I've worked many places, but right now I'm volunteering. So what's it like being a farmer in the valley who is moving into the realm of politics. Like, so what, are, what are some mm -hmm. of the crossovers between farming sure. and politics? Okay, well, um, <clears throat> so honestly, it was never my goal to ever run for county commissioner, okay? <laughs> I, it's never been, in, you know, something It's not I one of those about. things you had in your 40-year plan when you no, were 25, you know? No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, I do have a passion for Union County, so for many years I've been um, with the Union County, or the, started out with the Union Chamber and been in diff all the different offices really trying to promote union to c people to come to union and to for our businesses to be able to prosper sure been doing that for many years and then um, uh, we started the grassroots festival up again it had been going before and after a few years of that um, was asked to kind of be the coordinator for it so i've been doing that for several years um, just to promote our area and our businesses, which is important. And um, the businesses in our town say that's their best day of the year. Hmm. And we're just basically introducing them to what we have to offer. And so then from there, um, I was asked to be on the Union County Chamber, which I was president of last year. And um, that's where I really started to realize, um, you know, that we need to promote our whole county. Hmm. And as we partner with each other, we all benefit. And so um, some of my neighbors and friends about two years ago asked me to run for county commissioner. And um, I said, no, I just didn't feel like I was ready or, you know. Sure. And they came back again this time and asked me again. Uh, it took me a couple months to decide because, like you said, ranching. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, it's I, tough. I, mean, I go a... to tons of meetings already yeah. with my volunteer, but this is a little different, you know. And so... Um, Finally, after a couple months of thinking about it and talking to my husband, I decided to just put 100% in and go for it. And s same vision, promote Union County, help our businesses make it, um, you know, make it a good place for all of us. So you're a farmer, yet you are, so what, what do you farm? Okay, so we, um, we put up hay. We okay. have different kinds of hay, alfalfa and grass hay, and we... Uh, cut it, rake it, bale it, and then we do small bales and big bales, and then the small bales we actually sell to people with horses, so we have a little niche market there. And then we have cattle, and they have babies every year, mm -hmm. so we're out in the middle of the night making sure the babies, you know, stay alive yeah, when it's sure. cold or whatever. And then we raise them, and uh, then we also sell grass-fed beef on our oh, ranch wow. um, to local people. And they usually, they buy by the half or the quarter. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just all natural, no antibiotics, out on green irrigated grass. And so that's a little um, thing that we're, we've been doing for about 10 years. So this is, so you have, you're, 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 was your farming your primary job? Mm -hmm. um, you said you worked for the chamber. Did you work okay. for the chamber or were you just volunteering for the okay. chamber? Okay, well, so my, um, my background as far as work is when we first started farming, of course, you know, um, you don't make much money. Yeah, it takes a long say, time to get into it. Yeah. To, like, get and to so that my husband was, um, he worked at sawmills and logging many, the, probably the first 25 years. And then uh, when he decided he wanted to try to go full time farming, then I got a job at UPS 
because you know we needed insurance, we needed money for food. Yeah, for <laughs> and sure. so I worked Even there. Even politicians and farmers have to eat. <laughs> Absolutely. <you know? laughs> so I was a UPS driver for 16 years, and then um, at the end of 16 years, my job was eliminated. It was an overnight express driver, and they were going to combine that with the regular drivers. So mm -hmm. they asked me if I wanted to be retrained or stay, and I asked to be retrained. So I went to tech which um, I got my office and computer technology. Oh, wow. Um, huh. And uh, then I got hired at Community Connection as an administrative assistant. I went from UPS driver to administrative assistant. Wow. And um, totally new, but just learned a lot. Um, one of the jobs um, I had there was, it was they had just um, gotten Reveria School. So oh. I was kind of in charge of um, keeping that, fixing it up. Um, and uh, bringing people in to rent it and that kind of thing. So I learned a lot there about working with people and bringing the community in to work together. And then I worked for the state of Oregon for a while hmm. um, as an office specialist. And then I opened my own business, my husband and I. We did a bed and breakfast, restaurant, antique shop kind of thing. And we did that for a couple years at where we live now in Union. And uh, this whole time, farming and ranching at the same time. So get home from work, you know, help on the farm. And uh, so anyway, as far as work ethic, um, I have it. And passion for Union County, I really do have it. So I have two questions for you. Sure. The first of which, and is completely non-political, I promise. <laughs> How cute do you think the deer are in Union? The deer honestly don't bother me, <laughs> OK? My husband, we have, I'm going to say, um, around our house on a given day we probably have 10 now yeah they could you know they can be annoying when they eat your plants sure. my husband and I put in we have a big garden so what we do is we just put a fence around our garden and we take it down like I took it down probably a week and a half ago now they're I'm just letting the deer go in and clean it up for me before yeah, I tell sure. it yeah so you use the deer <laughs> uh, well yeah I mean there but at the same time there are people with concerns yeah fair enough and I definitely think that we need to be working on that I hopefully that committee that Union put together you know can w look at some solutions um, but you know so there's both sides to it some people absolutely love them I don't love them or hate them we basically just plant plants in our yard that we know they don't like mm -hmm. and then we just fence our garden so we just are used to them coming through they don't really bother us but I know for some people not everybody wants to put up big fences you know and so we definitely need to look for a solution there so my second question for you, sure. the thread that's held together all of your various myriad, various, various jobs you've had mm -hmm. has been Union County. Mm -hmm. Why, what is it about Union County that's kept you here for so many years? Um, well, uh, we've traveled a little bit, not a lot, because farmers can't get away. The cows will get out, you know. Sure. <laughs> um, but um, I like the peace and quiet. I like the mountains. We go, you know, we love going up in the mountains. Um, the people, I mean, so many volunteers. I'm just going to give you an example. Our cows got out a few weeks ago, hmm. and they were on the highway, and I just called all the neighbors on our highway. I called everyone, and all the neighbors were all standing in the yard helping us move our cows down oh, the road wow. to get, I mean, you know, people work together. Sure. And um, that's what I enjoy most is that we, when you go down the street, people know you. They say hi, hmm. you know, where you go to a bigger area, you know, it's kind of like strangers and uh, not that uh, hometown feeling. Hmm. And so that's probably the things that have kept us here the most is, uh, and then family too. My mom lives here and um, then, you know, most of my children and grandchildren also. So if you don't win this upcoming election mm -hmm. for county commissioner, mm -hmm. if you do, you're going to be, you know, working full time as a county commissioner. Absolutely. If you don't, mm -hmm. Um, what do you think you're going to do? Will you run again? Will you go mm -hmm. back to farming? Well, like, what, what would the future hold if you did? Well, I'm not quitting farming. <laughs> Even <laughs> so if I got county, county commissioner. you're going to be a county commissioner and a farmer? Well, you know, my husband takes care of most of it. I, yeah, absolutely. Wow. We're not going to quit farming. <sighs> right. um, but uh, I, I, will had a busy job. <laughs> I will continue doing what I'm doing. I will continue volunteering. I will continue, uh, you know, trying to help promote Union County, whether I get Union County commissioner or not. Sure. Yeah, because that's not going to change. That's just part of me. Well, thank you so much for coming in and chatting with me. Is there mm -hmm. anything you anything you want to add that you think is quintessentially Donna Beverage? Um, no, I I just uh, would appreciate you know um, your vote. 
um, on November 8th and um, I just promise to listen to all sides and um, work together to make this a better place. I just think it's a great place to live and um, I think that sometimes people that have lived here their whole life kind of take that for granted. Sure. You know, but when you travel somewhere and then you come home and the closer you get to home the more calm and peaceful you feel. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we really need to fill these empty storefronts and we need to keep our businesses here in business. So it's kind of a balance between being peaceful and being, you know. And, keep, and keeping people working. And keeping people working. Absolutely. Because being peaceful is not the same as being complacent. Being peaceful right. means is there's an element of movement to being peaceful. you got to have a little bit right. of movement to peace and a little bit of peace to movement or else, yeah. you know, they don't really work out so well. Right. For, for, for example, this is just me, okay? Sitting on the couch all day wouldn't be peaceful for no, me. No, of course not. <laughs> I like to keep busy, so I want, you know, whatever I'm keeping busy with, I want it to matter. And so, um, to me, just Union County is, I guess, something that's really been important to me, so. Very cool. Well, thank you mm -hmm. so much for coming in and chatting with us, Don. Mm -hmm. It was thank you. a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, this video has been brought to you by Marketplace Family Foods, Valley Realty, Grand Run Hospital, um, Northwest Furniture and Mattress, and Seabright Dentistry. Tune in for more local content to lagrandalive.tv.